homework was never this gross before. Hello folks and welcome back to our channel reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing the 21st book from Goosebumps OG62 entitled Go Eat Worms. Yuck, right? The front cover is pretty, pretty good, I would say. Even though it is rather simple, you just have a bunch of worms kind of wriggling around uh, this uh, notebook. They're kind of wriggling around the pages and, um, you know, kind of uh, slipping through it, slipping through the pages. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you have a big pencil standing there, basically... There's some math, I believe, math homework. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the worms are kind of uh, breaking their way through it. And, uh, yeah, kind of um, all over. The, they're kind of all over the place. But, yeah, there's a lot of purple in this book. And um, it's reflected by the worms and uh, the color of the title. And I think that's a pretty good cover. Even though, you know, when we... If someone sees that for the first time, he might not really feel like reading this book. I didn't feel like reading this book, I gotta say, I mean, until later. Because this the front cover didn't inspire me much. It felt a little bit, I don't know, kind of weird, kind of odd. And uh, the title, Go Eat Worms, um, was kind of gross, but kind of like childish. So, didn't feel like much to me. So I I wasn't, it wasn't, let's just say it wasn't one of the first Goosebumps books uh, I wanted to get my hands on. Not, not the first, like, not, not on my priorities, I would say, right? When it comes to reading Goosebumps, I had my eyes set on others, on other books that seemed a lot better than this one. But this one, uh, perhaps I should break break uh break down the story for you guys and uh explain a little bit about what this is about so basically the plot is about um basically you have that kid his name is Todd Barstow Todd Barstow and um uh, he has that I don't know that kind of passion I guess you might want to call it with worms. Basically, he loves worms. He has, he has a big um, worm farm, I think that's what it's called, in his basement. Basically, a big glass cage, and uh, inside that cage, he has all these worms, you know, spread around. Um, and uh, he likes to study them, I think, or, you know, kind of like a scientist, but um, with worms. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. But not only that, uh, he is number one. Um, I mean, apart from the worms, uh, another thing he loves to do is to uh, basically play mean tricks on his sister, uh, Regina, and her best friend, Beth. Now, he would take, uh, he would pick up some worms, you know, over there, uh, down uh, in his, um, down in the basement, in his, uh, in his glass cage, he would, pick them up, and then he would slip them through uh, down her clothes, down their clothes or down their food, their spaghettis, I think. There's a scene like that. And uh, that is so gross. And this kid, Todd, I mean, he's such a, a jerk. You know, I'll be honest with you. And he's one of the least uh, likable characters in all of Goosebumps. As a matter of fact, he's not likable at all. He's such a... He's such a brat, and uh, there's nothing he does that really makes you want to like him, you know. Uh, even though in other Goosebumps books, even though sometimes some characters may be mean, like at first sight, there's always something that kind of compensate for that kind of compensates for for this. But in this book, nothing compensates for it. I mean, it, as far as that is concerned, he's just bad, right? So basically, what happens is that. Um, Todd goes to school, obviously, with his best friend. I kind of forgot his name. Uh, I think it was Danny. Was it Danny? And uh, basically, um, what happens is that they have that school project. Needless for me to say that Todd's going to be about worms. 
And there's that other kid that just got in from, uh, they just got in that school from somewhere else in the country. I'm not exactly sure where, but uh, he's going to kind of compete with Todd. And um, that's how the first part of the book goes. It all kind of uh, uh, aim, aim at revolves around the school project, basically. That is, that is the first part of the book. And uh, Todd's competitor is kind of a geek, you know. He always gets great grades, and uh, he's uh, he's kind of a geek, a nerd, whatever you want to call him. And um, if only I could remember his name. I kind of forgot about it. Yeah, it's not that important, but yeah, he's part of the book. And uh, basically what happens is that uh, the school project is kind of the last scene of uh, the first act. Because this book is divided into two parts, I would say. You have the first part, everything that leads to the school project. And you have a second part, which is more about uh, Worms. Than, yeah, it focuses, more, it focuses more on Worms, right? On Touch Worms. And basically what happens is that uh, Todd is going to kind of turn against his Worms, I think, at some point. Or he's going to try something silly, you know, kind of. I uh, mean, I don't want to say exactly what. I don't want to say exactly what he's going to do, but he's going to try something nasty. And the worms are going to try to kind of um, um, plot against him, you know, kind of come up with some revenge plan, right? I know it sounds kind of silly if I went the way I see it, but uh, it... There's more to it, and I don't want to spoil too much or anything. But yeah, this is basically the second how the second part of the book goes. And at some point, there's going to be a real, like, um, a real interesting scene near the end of the book about the worms, uh, about what they're going to do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to spoil too much. I'm going to stop it here as far as uh, the plot is concerned. And now I'm going to move on to my personal opinion on this book. Now, this book is one of the least favorite, uh, it's one of people's least favorite books from all of Goosebumps, and people even admitted that they hated this book, that it was bad, that it was badly written and everything. Now, I honestly beg to differ. I mean, everybody's free to dislike it, don't get me wrong, but as far as I'm concerned, this book was pretty good. I kind of really liked it. Yes, it has some weak things in it. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not one of my favorite Goosebumps books at all, just in case you were wondering. But in my opinion, there are there were far worse Goosebumps books in the series. And uh, even though this one may not be uh, one of my favorites, I kind of like the way the story plays out and the way, it was, the, the way it was written. I think it was written pretty well, and Stein did some good job in it. Uh... Like uh, what? Like for example, maybe the first part of the book, the you know the way the story develops into, um, or the story kind of um, how could I say? What? Well, the way it plays out and the way it develops into that scene where um, up to the the scene of the school project, I think there was a pretty good part in the book itself, and there's a pretty scary scene with the house at night. I don't want to spoil it, but man, it was pretty scary. And those who have read, those who have read it, know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that scene was pretty good in my opinion, and everything that leads to the school project, I, I think it was pretty good. I really liked it. Now, the the downside of the book is the second part, in my opinion, was kind of weak. Yeah, I don't know why exactly. Maybe the warm thing didn't. I mean, didn't seem really good to Stein at some point, so he decided to, I don't know, maybe get over it, get over, maybe get it over with or something, because you can clearly say, see that the second part of the book felt a little bit rushed, especially the last twist, the final twist, I didn't really understand it, to be honest with you, I, didn't, I don't remember much from it, so it means that it didn't leave a great impression on me, and uh, so yeah, I, 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 I felt that the second part of the book was definitely weak and uh, not that great at all. I mean, the the way the, the book starts is pretty good, but then it it kind of, uh, yeah, 
gets less and less interesting as you one as as you go on, and I think that was kind of uh, the, a downside to the book itself. But apart from that, really, I think that the book did pretty well. And even though it's not one of my favorite Goosebumps books, as I mentioned over and over and over again, I think it has a lot of good things in it. So if people are wondering, should I read this book or should I not read this book? I'd say you should definitely give it a shot. I mean, if 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 you don't like it, it's fine, but maybe you'll end up liking it. And uh, I know that I kind of like some Goosebumps books that other people hate. Like, for example, You Can't Scare Me or even... Uh, the Barking Ghost, I'll get to it later. But yeah, some Goosebumps books actually were pretty good to me, even though most people didn't didn't like them. And uh, yeah, felt that they were bad. And uh, yeah, yeah, thought that even though they thought otherwise, I think that some Goosebumps books are still pretty good, even though I may be the only one on earth who does like them. So I think that's pretty much it, and uh, I said it all. Yeah, it, yeah. One last thing. Even though Todd is not likable at all, in the in the story, as far as the story is concerned, I still thought that the book itself wasn't bad. It wasn't like its uh, its quality wasn't that. Um, how could I say? Like the the book, its quality wasn't that um, hurt by that. By the fact that Tub isn't isn't is not likable at all, I still thought that the book itself did pretty well, as I mentioned already. And uh, so yeah, first part of the book really good up until the school project. Then uh, there's something. Then uh, some point it feels a little bit botched or rushed, you know, the last few chapters maybe. But apart from that, it's pretty good. I really would like to hear what you have to say about it, and maybe I would would like to reread it, you know, in the future, maybe, I don't know, I don't think it was that bad, but if, if you didn't like it, let me know in the comment section down below, if you didn't like it, that's fine, I, I respect your opinion, because we're all entitled to ours, but let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about Go Eat Forms, did you like it, did you hate it, and uh, yes, if I were to review this book, I think I'd give it, um, I think I'd give it, um, 8 out of 10, maybe, I know it sounds a it, I know it may sound a little bit high, you know, for like uh, that kind of book, uh, but I still think that it was a pretty good book. I didn't, I didn't hate it, dudes. I mean, I for sure there were some things that didn't make a lot of sense near the end. Maybe the final twist was kind of rushed, as I said. But apart from that, it wasn't that bad at all, in my opinion. So yeah, um, yeah, eight out of ten. So, um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, so let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about Go It Forms. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And uh, feel free to, to share your opinions with me. And uh, whether you liked it or not, it's fine with me. And uh, I'll see you on the next review, I guess, for Go Go Speech. And uh, until then, i see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, take care. This whole channel review is for you. Signing off. And now I'm going to be reading the summary. They're creepy and they're crawly. They're totally disgusting. Obsessed with worms? That's putting it mildly. Todd is so fascinated with worms he keeps a worm farm in his basement. Most of all, Todd loves torturing his sister and her best friend with worms, dropping them into their hair, down their backs. Until one day, after cutting a worm in half, Todd notices something strange. The rest of the worms seem to be staring at him. Suddenly, worms start showing up in the worst places for Todd. In his bed, in his homework, even in his spaghetti. What's a worm lover to do when his own worms are starting to gross him out?